Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to episode number 307 of the Road to Glory here on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. Today, we are going to be uh, basically having a little look at like what foot swaps is this month, doing a couple of SBCs, and then going into some more games with this lovely little squad that we've put together. Uh, it is looking very lovely, to be fair, to have Eusebio, Ben Yedda, and Havertz, all with four-star skill, five-star weak foot in the squad. I'm excited. Uh, guys, do me a massive favor, hit that thumbs up button on today's video right at the start of this episode. Let's get over a thousand likes. If we can make that happen, you'll make my day. Um, so foot swap looks kind of nuts this month. Yes, I understand. It's August and it will be the end of the month by the time that you could possibly even get some of these players. I understand that. But Fabinho does look crazy and there's also a prime icon pack, which is uh, also quite tempting. And they cost less than the entire month's worth of unlocks. So that's also pretty good. It means that we might be able to get them in the next couple of weeks as opposed to waiting the entire month. So let me know what you're going to go with in terms of foot swap combinations. Are you going all the way for the prime icon? Are you not really playing anymore? Are you maybe just going to get a Zaha or a couple of other items? Yusuf Paulson, does that interest you? I'd be curious to know what ones you're going to unlock, if any, um... Let me know down below. Uh, so footies voting day SBC is complete. I used all rare players just because that, that's what I had in my untradables. I got ultimate packs, didn't I? So uh, that, that you know we use we use the players from there rather than the tradable non rares at the start of the club. Uh, we get 85 Brahimi, but I was hoping for a walkout, knowing that there's 300 special items in packs right now. I just figured that maybe they, they would give me that. But hey, a tradable 85 is actually not too bad at this point in time. I could sell that for a fair whack if I wanted to. Uh, so then we move on to marquee matchups. So we complete Dortmund versus Bayern. I did use an 84 rated Javi Martinez in there, but he was eight, uh, it was untradable. It meant the, squad, the rest of the squad could be lower rated and all of the Bayern players were going for like 10k when I was recording this. So like... I probably would have got a lower rated one if I'd have paid 10k for it. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to use it. So uh, that's exactly what we did. Didn't really get much from the pack. Uh, but then we get a 7.5k pack from the, the cheapest part of marquee matchups and get a walkout and, and get, get a blue walkout. I'm like, uh, I, I don't understand. It's a little bit of a odd one. We get Italian centre back, uh, but from Torino. So it's not going to be Chiellini. It is 93 rated Izzo, who does, to be fair, look like a very decent centre back and probably quite usable. I'm not sure how tall he is, uh, but I mean, just by the looks of that render on screen, he's probably six foot tall or something, maybe 5'11". Uh, and if that is the case, then yeah, he's less usable than some of the others, but uh, and, and that dribbling and passing at this stage of the game, if you look at who I'm using with like Kimpembe and uh, I know Kimpembe's dribbling is not a great uh, example, but like Van Dijk, so good on the ball, uh, and St. Joss was good on the ball, uh, who else? Delict was good on the ball, you need you need the mid-80s for those players at this stage of the game if you're going to compete, um, but yeah, maybe, maybe you just use Izzo if you've got like a nice... Serie A squad going on and, and he's a nice cheap defender now at under 30,000 coins for a 93 rated main tots mental to me that that really is crazy so uh marquee matchups complete with the final one done uh, and, and we did that for minimum cost really so it gives us a rare electrum i'm pretty sure and we get a walkout from that uh and it's just a regular gold walkout and i'm like damn it come on give me the blues I want a chance to pack a first owner Havertz. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? We could sell the other one and have loads of coins. Oh, that would be the dream. Um, or well, maybe packing a Ronaldo would be the dream, right? A tradable Ronaldo. Uh, so we get Ozil, which is about as bad as it can get, I'm pretty sure. And then no walkout and no boards from the 50k pack. I thought at this stage of the game, that would be a guaranteed four blues in one pack. Uh, we get Rugani. I'm like, oh... Cheers. Uh, and a couple of my mates that also did marquee matchups also got no boards, no walkouts in the 50k pack. Conspiracy. Maybe. No, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> 4,000 coins we basically got for Berkey, who was in one of our packs. I do need to check through the rest of my players to see if there are any expensive ones because I will offload them. We're sitting low on coins, so I, I want to try and make that up as, as as good as I possibly can. Uh, so I go into a few rivals games and this guy's got some very nice reds. Pretty jealous of obviously the Ronaldo, uh, but he's got some other good ones. He's got Lala in red. I prefer mine in blue, to be honest. It matches the card nicely. Um, but I, I, of course, would have taken that Ericsson at some point in time as well. Uh, and this guy was good. He was actually better than me and 
He was dominating me, and, and somehow I'm the one that actually goes 1-0 up. I don't know how. I don't know why. Maybe he just wasn't focusing as much as I was. I was feeling like I was pretty much in my zone, really. I was actually quite quite enjoying trying. Uh, so that, that was nice, of course. And he didn't push me. I think he was expecting the ball through. So he didn't push me when Havertz went on a run there. So I just, like, finessed it round him. And as you can see, like, yeah, I've had a couple more shots on goal, but he had way more possession. I was struggling against this chap. I, I don't understand how I'm 2-0 up. Uh, and then Alexander-Arnold knocks it into Havertz, and I just bang it in off the bar and make it 3-0 in a game which literally could have been 3-0 to my opponent, I, I swear. Like, that is just how it goes sometimes on FIFA. Sometimes you have a really good game. Sometimes uh, you play terribly or you play not as good as your opponent and you end up winning by a, a, a decent margin. Nearly made it four there with the, the first time shot from Havertz, but it wasn't to be. So, Super Ninja Hawk. I mean, GG's, bro. I'm sorry. I just feel like maybe you had more of that game than I did uh, and I just managed to hold him off from actually pulling those shots away. He was just really good at holding possession, which made him seem like a better player. Um, so I'm already up to rank one for this week. That's 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 just me in August. I'm a super hardcore player, you know. Um, but yeah, we move on into the next match. Of course, I'm knocked down from rank one when everyone plays the weekend league and I don't because I'm away. Uh, but, you know, what we've got here is another nice squad to face off against. Uh, and again, I think I was pretty much struggling. Uh, Maybe the players that are left are the ones which are just good on the ball and they, they understand their FIFA. Like if, if I'd have conceded that to Ericsson, uh, that would have been the classic FIFA goal. Somehow it hit the bar, um, but literally a moment later, he ends up scoring for, with a rebound from Usman Dembele, who is someone which I think is another, like, is he four-star skill, five-star weak foot as well? Would he be another player to add to our roster if we could get the chance? And he would get a strong link to... Uh, Get a strong link to Ben Yedder as well. No, we, we have no room for other attackers in this squad. I was looking at my bench and stuff the other day, and I realised how many top-tier, usable, crazy, like, sub players that I don't even get a chance to play anymore because I only have three subs. Uh, yeah, I've got a lot. So we don't necessarily need any more of that. The The main area of our team that that I would only that I really endeavour to upgrade now is that we've never really been super certain on... Uh, Kim Pembe. I, I do really like him, but I've never been super certain as much as I am with Van Dyke. Uh, and I don't know what other defenders there are on this game that I could feel that way, that comfortable with. Um, so I guess Kim Pembe will do for now. And he, you know, he demonstrates a nice tackle there, and it leads to me pushing forward here and getting another chance uh, and actually getting another goal. That was a really nice cross from Ronaldinho. I do those RB crosses hardly ever. And the, the one time I do it, it just works out perfectly and we're able to score from it. So, uh, yeah, have that, Yashin. We've, we've knocked one past you. So, uh, we're two all at the moment and I'm uh, trying my best to get, get back into the lead here. I guess the other area of the team that really could do with an upgrade is probably that Allison. Uh, I use it because it's red 95 Allison and it gets that link to Van Dyke that I need. Um... But in an ideal world, we'd probably have a Van der Sar or someone like that that people actually rate as a goalkeeper. And of course, it would also depend on who my other centre-back was. Um, because if it didn't get a link to Van Dijk, then we'd, we might need to have the keeper to get a link to him. But then Van Dijk loses chemistry. Which is why I think the team that we've currently got is pretty decent. It's pretty much like nailed on as the one that I want to finish FIFA with. Maybe a couple of changes here and there, depending on who we pack or how lucky we get over the coming few weeks. I'd love that Pogba, and he has come down significantly in price, so maybe we can grind to him before he expires in a couple of weeks. That that would be uh, pretty good as well, because I could actually replace, like, G Goretzka with him, as my, so have, like, Vieira and Pogba as the CDMs. I could probably do that and probably keep Havertz on full cam as well, who does just demonstrate how crazy his uh, volleys are by just putting me 1-0 up against this mega team. This guy had a real good team. One of the, the ones that's sort of like above the level of mine when you have like the Cruyff, the, R, uh, the uh, CR7, the Hullet and stuff like that. You know, it's one of those teams which is just another level above. Yeah, our team is great and, you know, it, it is impressive for a, uh, for a road to glory to have a squad like this. Um, but you know those teams which is just another level above. And he's probably got like four mil sat in the, in his coin balance as well. You know, it's just that's how it goes for some people. If you've spent FIFA points and grinded the game this year, then you're absolutely loaded. There's no doubt about it. Um, we've, we've made some sloppy decisions. I mean, even lately, like Havertz was a poor buy when we bought him. We could have saved 300k there. Um, the whole defender debacle over the last few weeks has cost me loads of coins. But... 
We've had fun. We've changed the team around. I've got to use a few different players, test them out and see who I like and stuff. Ben Yedda is absolutely outstanding. His finishing is top notch. I love his shooting. And as you would expect, five star weak foot and, uh, and you know, 97 shooting. He should be good, right? Uh, so, yeah, I, I am really enjoying him. We ended up coming away with a three all draw against this guy. And... I actually bossed it, so I, I probably should have won that one. But, you know, when you have the likes of CR7 and stuff, maybe maybe they just have that little bit of an edge on uh, clinical finishing. So we move on into the next game. Another crazy team uh, mixed between the French and Prem. Uh, and he's also, I mean, well, there's just a Nusman Dembele. It's mainly a Prem team with a with a Matthias and a Nusman Dembele. But look at that for a goal from Havertz. That's beautiful, man. We just flick it up when we receive the ball, knock it over and like twist in, in the air and then volley it home. What a goal from the German. I, I that, That's one of my favorite goals I've scored in a while. It's just such a nice finish. And it just displays everything about him that is beautiful on this game. Uh, Usman Dembele then actually scores quite a nice goal. He sort of does me with a heel click. And uh, then my defender sort of like slides past him. He's like, see ya. Um, but he, he gets the goal from that. And again, I'm struggling in this game. This guy was really good at possession, holding the ball and stuff. Uh, but I figured I could earn myself another goal if I just put my mind to it. So Lozano comes on at halftime. He knocks it into Havertz and I just hit it green uh, across the goalkeeper with the low driven. And we do find ourselves uh, another goal up. And then right at the very end, I mean, it, it's sort of like written in the stars, isn't it? That he does this. He flicks it up and scores a goal a little bit like Havertz. I mean, mine was better. We all know mine was better. But that was a nice goal to score. And again, it did, it did my defender. That, that Usman Dembele is actually a bit of trouble. Uh, and I reckon he's probably not that expensive nowadays as well. So it is someone that we could potentially look at. Uh, I've had this conversation already and I already know I don't need any more attacking players. But just for the sake of maybe switching the team out every now and again, we could look into that or maybe we'll pack it. I don't know. It would be quite nice to... To test out someone that's interesting like he is on this game. So that's going to wrap things up for today's episode, boys. Uh, in terms of like goal contributions, we've got 20, 27 and 17. Uh, and then Ben Yedda sort of tailed off a little bit. But I have been bringing him off and bringing Ricarlison on. So he, he doesn't get the full 90 minutes. But from what I've been playing with him, I adore him. I think he's awesome. It, it's sort of like that feeling of old Ben Yedda from previous FIFAs, which I've always loved. So it, it's nice to actually get the chance to use that in FIFA 19 as well um hope hope he's uh also decent in fifa 20 that'd be good i imagine kai havertz is going to be quite nice off the bat in fifa 20 maybe a lot of people are going to want to use him to begin with uh i can almost see like first weekend league teams if people can't afford like the likes of van dyke and stuff maybe trying to get like a, a goretzka and a havertz in who are likely to be sort of like the 83 rated players or whatever you could probably get away with doing stuff like that i mean that's a long way away. Uh, it's, it's a month or two away, guys. But I, I'm very excited. And, and loads of people keep asking me, am I doing a Road to Glory for FIFA 20? Of course. I want to go bigger and better than this year. Um, so, yeah, like, I, I can't wait. I genuinely can't wait for FIFA 20. It sounds like with all the seasonal objectives and stuff that we are going to have a lot of opportunity to make bank in FIFA 20 with our ultimate team. And, and, and again, like progress it further than we even have this year. So I hope that's the case. Guys, do me a massive favor. Smash that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comment section who you're getting in foot swaps, who you, what combination you want to go with. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Insta. Subscribe to the channel. All of that good stuff. Make sure that you guys have a lovely day out there and I'll catch you next time. Peace.